Hey there, it is monthly check-in time. I'm coming to you from a random parking lot because <laughs> all of the parks I tried to go to on this particular Sunday were very busy and I'm just not doing that. <laughs> so, um, here we are. Yeah, it is October of 2022. And first we're gonna look back on September um, and reflect on the past month. Things or people you are grateful for um, from the month of September. Um, for me, that was obviously um, connecting with people. Connection is like a big thing for me. Um, both online and in real life. And I'm super, super grateful that my local community was not impacted that much by Hurricane Ian. Not feeling so great. <laughs> um, it's really heavy um, thinking about what's going on in the rest of the state. So I've been through a lot of storms and I'm so relieved that we were spared. Um, I mean, we had like, you know, wind damage and there were some tornadoes and a lot of my community lost power but we're all pretty much back to normal whereas the rest of the state there's like devastation um so if you can assist in any way you know please do <laughs> um i am always grateful for coaching both coaching people and being coached if you're interested in being coached free or pay what you can reach out to me, um, traumainformedsolutions.com slash coaching, coach, one of those, it'll both get you there. <laughs> um, I'm also grateful that I got a new engine in, in my truck, get more calm, is my truck. Um, not, you know, I'm glad that I can make it happen and that I have reliable transportation that will last me for a long time. Um, what are ways that you made progress towards your goals and projects last month? So I am continually experimenting, getting more clarity, working on my systems and routines. Um, my health progress. Um, I am making slow progress towards my fitness goals, which is good. My sleep is improving. I have a goal to get like eight hours of sleep every night and I'm like at 7.4 so that's up from last from the month before that's good um and I made a lot of content I have not shared all of it yet but that'll be pushed out this month and I got more coaching hours um so what do you want to let go of from last month um, I'm kind of exploring this idea of, um, you know, like forest fires <laughs> and like there were two really big things last month, one being my truck and one being the hurricane, things like I just cannot control. Um, but there are things that I can sort of control, like dealing with customer service. This is like a, uh, super high up on my stressful list. Um, where I can, instead of looking at it as like a forest fire, I can look at it as like a controlled burn where I get to choose the terms of like when and how I'm going to engage <laughs> with something like customer service or, you know, like adulting tasks. Um, so, you know, really exploring the things that are outside of my control versus what I can influence inside of my control um and then resistance to those things so i'm trying to like really just let go of resistance because that causes so much more like stress and anxiety in my body <laughs> um yeah what do you want to remember from last month so i think it's important to acknowledge that i was able to move through a lot of the discomfort that i was feeling in the moment especially with the really high stress things like the hurricane um i need to acknowledge that i was resilient i was able to bounce back from a week of just being on high alert all week to getting stuff done again 
and um, I want to remember that I held space for important people in my life and that could look different for each person but it just felt really good to connect and be there for them in ways that they needed. Um, what lessons did you learn in the last month? Um, I think <laughs> remembering that I can pause, like I don't have to react in each moment. I can pause and regroup. Um, I can choose what to engage in, especially if it's something uncomfortable, like, like customer service, um, instead of being immediately reactive. Um, I can experiment with my schedule and systems based on my needs because my needs are always changing. Um, i.e. like environmental change like the hurricane, weather, um, having health issues, work goals. So these are things that are fluid and, and I can kind of go with the flow and adapt to them. Um, Something I learned through a coaching session is um, because I can create my own schedule, if I want to have like longer hiking days, um, I can experiment with trying to get like front loading my week and trying to get my work for the week done. Um, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and if I get it done, then I can like celebrate by going for a long day <laughs> out in the wilderness, which would be amazing. So I will keep you updated on that. Um, and I am going to really prioritize my work because like looking back at my previous month schedules and different things that I've tried, like I was not making progress towards especially like let review on my dissertation. So um, I can choose to change my schedule and my habits and routines so I can prioritize my own things. Now, looking at October, what are you saying no to this month? And what are you saying yes to this month? Um, so one of the things I'm saying no to is being on call all the time. Like I really reduced my availability. I mean, I'm, I basically made it so I have three different appointments that people can book in the afternoon and evening. And I'm reserving my daytime work hours for for my own projects so not being on call all the time um i'm saying no to overextending myself <laughs> uh, making sure that i can put my own things first um i'm saying no to a lack of focus or intentions so when i am working on my stuff I'm not going to be like randomly doing things like I'm going to have a purpose for each work block that so I can get into flow um, and saying no to staying up late because I am a night owl and I I typically do my best work like at three in the morning and if I get into a project like at eight o'clock at night I get into it and then I look up and I'll be like oh man to go sleep for the night you know <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to shift a lot of the work to during the day um, and having, you know, like my set wind down routine, um, really shutting down my brain in the evening so that I can go to sleep by 10 or 11 o'clock at night. It's a work in progress. <laughs> um, I am saying yes to movement. Um, hopefully... Well, I don't know. The water might be icky for a while because of the storm. I don't know if I'll be paddling that much, but definitely hiking more. Um, doing yoga, you know, seeing if my joints are okay for doing some body weight exercises. Um, yes to boundaries around work. Um, 
and this goes towards my like my job job um just making sure that I'm not like checking that email all throughout the day like I'll check it in the morning and then I'll check it in the afternoon <laughs> um because I tend to use it as a distraction and I'm like oh if there's an email with the task to do I'll do that instead of like doing my own thing so um making sure like I am leaving a bunch of space for doing my own stuff um yes to creativity I'm really excited about this one yes to prioritizing my work and health I am currently in the second month of my fall health challenge that I created for myself um and I am making slow progress so that is good I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and yes to reading I have been reading a lot of books you can find me on goodreads if you want to suggest things to me or see what I'm reading um I'm almost reading like a book a day or a book every other day I just kind of have it going on in the background so that's been really nice um what are you excited about this month and what are you hoping for so I am excited for hiking and exploring especially because it's not <laughs> over 90 degrees anymore <laughs> um so that'll be nice I am excited to create not only like content like for my business but I have some ideas for some art projects that I want to work on and making progress towards goals so that's exciting and sharing a lot of the things that I'm working on um I'm thirsty <laughs> I don't talk a lot I do drink a lot of water though. Okay. What is on your mind as you head into this month? Is there anything that's causing anxiety or stressing you out? So as I mentioned before, I am starting this new schedule. Um, and what that looks like is instead of being out exploring in the morning for like a few hours, which I could easily hike for four hours every morning. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try to be home by 10 in the morning. Like I drop my son off for school. Then I go on an adventure and like get it, get my like needs met in nature, you know? <laughs> um, so I am going to limit that to like an hour of hiking so I can get home by 10 AM and hopefully get like two deep work, like two hour blocks in, um, during the day. To work on my own stuff and I'm kind of anxious about this because I don't know how that will impact like my mental and physical health um because I need like I know that I need like two hours of exercise a day <laughs> it seems like a lot but um hiking easily meets that um so I will have to do I'll, you know, be proactive about doing my yoga in the evening and taking like walks throughout the day around my neighborhood um, and splitting it up more. Um, so I'll see how that impacts my my heart rate variability and my nervous system. Um, because the mornings have been like always reserved for self care. And I really want to focus on like unlearning, putting so much pressure on myself um, around certain goals because it's like defeatist if like I don't make certain progress or if I don't hit like a certain deadline then I'm like, ah, I might as well not do it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to just like go with it and see what's sustainable or not. And also like not making progress fast enough um and i think especially like thinking back to like myself like 20 years ago like things seem to be so much easier especially like physically you know exercise easier <sighs> so i have to like be like okay well small progress is still progress and that's good 
Um, and in terms of like my business, um, it's the same thing. Small progress is still progress. And I think once I start like putting content out there, it'll be more like real for me that I'm like making stuff like I can see <laughs> because I'm a visual person. Um, last question. What is your to-do list for this month? What do you hope to get done? And what do you want to make progress on? All the progress talk here today. <laughs> um, so high up on my list is content creation and my lit review, um, which go really hand in hand. Um, I am hoping to get my dissertation proposal done and submitted and possibly defended this month. We'll see. Um, and that includes like getting my research questions for my research prepared, um, working on theories and my methodology. Um, a lot of like thinking parts of my brain that I haven't used in a while. <laughs> So it should be interesting getting back into the groove of this. But once I'm in it, like I'm in it. So that'll be good. Um, and I'll be sharing all sorts of like interesting random research with you if you want to follow along on my trauma-informed solutions um, channels and pages. And um, implementing new systems, schedules, and routines. So... I like to see if it's going to be sustainable and if it will work and if it will be good for my nervous system and um, maintaining my self-care routine. So making sure I get like a lot of movement in, you know, like my daily mindfulness and meditation and journaling, a lot of expressive writing has been so helpful. I will be sharing a lot of prompts on those. Um, yeah, and good sleep. Like, I, I am making my way towards that eight hours of sleep on a goal. <laughs> and I will be moderating a panel at the APFM conference in a few weeks um, with some really stellar professionals, family mediators, and the like on high conflict divorce and how <laughs> mediators should... Um, approach that and facilitate that which is like all in my wheelhouse so I'm excited and once that's over I will probably make some content about what we discussed um so that is it I hope that you have a wonderful month of October and all of the cozy fall <laughs> stuff I'm in Florida so it's not cozy in fall it's like just extended summer <laughs> but um I am looking forward to hiking some more so if you are interested in coaching about progress getting stuff done self-care trauma conflict whatever I am here for you I can hold space for you um and I will be sharing a lot of free resources on how to regulate your nervous system, journaling prompts, coaching questions that you can work through on your own for free. Um, that can help you to live a more centered and balanced and calm and aligned life. So take care. I will see you soon.